Welcome to Cliveden, set high above the River Thames, and overlooking my shoulder we have our fabulous parterre. So here at Cliveden we have over 350 years of history, and that spans from dukes, earls, lords, and even to prime ministers. So in 1942, the National Trust were lucky enough to be handed the property from the lovely Astor family. Nancy Astor was the first woman to be a Member of Parliament. Today I'm going to take you for a stroll through our fabulous gardens here at Cliveden and see all the work that we've been carrying out with our staff and our volunteers. So we've currently come down to the parterre. The team are currently doing our summer bedding changeover. So as you can see behind me, we have a white ribbon, and that is our nod to in the 1850s, there was a head gardener called John Fleming, and he was particularly known for his carpet bedding, and as I said, the ribbon is key to that element. And also the gardeners are setting out the red begonias, which tie in very nicely and really highlights that fact. So I've been here as an apprentice for about nine months now. I absolutely love it. There's so much to learn, it's endless, and it's just great working alongside like-minded people. We have so much fun, as well as working hard, obviously. Absolutely love it. We're planting up the summer bedding with some heavenly white begonias, and we've got some heaven red begonias that can be running through that we're just infilling now. So we have to do about 16 beds, I believe, on the parterre. We have some that have got the ribbon running through and the rest of them we've got some coleus, trusty rusty it's called, and hopefully it's going to look great when it's all done. <laughs> We're now in the rose garden, um, full of roses, full of bloom at this at the moment in time. It's peak time now, we're just coming to the end of June, start of July. We're in here dead-heading daily to keep the blooms going. Cliveden is a large garden, it's got many areas. I always say to a new gardener starting, you know, we've got different aspects of gardening, we've got different garden rooms. Spend a year or two at Cliveden and it's a great grounding and you really can move on, you know, and do most things in horticulture. The rose garden was newly planted about 10 years ago. It was originally a Sir Geoffrey Jellicoe creation in um, 1959 to 62 for the third Viscount Astor. He com commissioned Geoffrey Jellicoe and it was, I think it was done on a, a paint in the fruit. That was the idea, the design. We've gone back to that design and there's over 900 uh, David Austin roses in here. There's blooms all summer long, right through till October, November. So it's, I think it's one of the best rose gardens in the country, but I would say that. So we've now come to the magnificent Long Garden, and it was here under the Astor period in which they employed a designer called Nora Lindsay to add some real key changes to the garden. So the fundamental changes that Nora made when she was a designer here was the topiary behind me, which you see. That was created, the hedging, and also she created a lovely herbaceous perennial scheme here, which was specifically her thoughts on colour and height. Behind me we have four central beds, and in these four central beds, Nora had a herbaceous perennial scheme based on the colours of the rainbow for colour, and also her ranges of height, which she used throughout the garden. So an exciting project coming up here will be the four central beds we'll be changing from currently annual bedding across to an inspired scheme that'll be coming from Nora Lindsay's thoughts on height and colour. So going forward, we'll be changing to a more sustainable practice and gardening here, but the key element will be always respecting the design, which was Nora Lindsay's. So there we have it. You've had a snapshot tour of Cliveden's Gardens. But most importantly, I would really like to finally say thank you for your support. It is only with your help that we can continue to look after special places such as Cliveden.